tired as fuck. Um, check this out. I am the lab science director. I know a thing or two about food science. Now, what they have invented, when I say they, I'm talking about the genetic engineers. Not only have they found a way to put these genetically engineered traits into food crops, they've now found a way to cause food crops to grow RNA fragments that can be specifically targeted like bioweapons to interfere with the physiological processes of targeted species that might eat the food. Now this technology is called RNA interference technology. It's relatively new uh, compared to GMOs, relatively new. It's being touted now as a technology to eliminate the use of pesticides because what they're saying is they can cause a corn crop to grow RNA fragments that will kill the insects that eat the corn without having to use pesticides like toxic chemicals that overload the insect nervous system and kill it from a nervous system breakdown and so on. This RNA interference technology is a pesticide technology, but it doesn't rely on pesticide chemicals. It relies on RNA fragments in the food. Now, what's disturbing about this is that this technology can be fine-tuned to target a specific race of humans who eat the food. I want you to follow me very carefully on this because most people have never heard of this before. They've never heard of this technology. They don't know it can be targeted by race. Food crops can be engineered right now based on existing technology to cause infertility in black people alone. That technology is a reality. It's actually, it's widely covered out there in the mainstream media, in the science media, RNA interference technology is widely covered. The government is at war with you. If you're, if you're black and you're watching this, the government is at war with you and they want you to exterminate it and they control the science funding, which means there will never be money for any genetic science of the food supply to uncover this truth if it were there. It would be covered up like everything else has been covered up this entire time. Just like the Tuskegee experiments covered things up in the 1930s. Nothing has changed, except the technology is more advanced. The covert technology is more covert. The number of vectors through which they can kill you and cause you to have no children, cause you to have spontaneous abortions, the number of vectors is increasing. You are being targeted. And like I said earlier, to some extent we're all being targeted. But black people are being targeted more than anyone else. For those that don't know, God does hate. By watching that, you probably know who he hates already. I'll show you something. And there you have it. For Jacob, I have loved, but Esau, I have hated. Esau being the Edomites, the Edomites being Caucasians, and the Caucasians being white people. They're a Caucasian white people, they, they come from the Caucasus Mountains. <coughs> Excuse me. They was living up in caves, up in the mountains. So there, and always was, the original cavemen, cave people. A lot of black people was out there walking the savannah, or was out bush, or in the desert. Them fellas was living up in caves, not us. Come us cavemen. Um. Job chapter 9 verse 24 and God gave the world into the hands of the wicked into the hands of the wicked now who runs the world rules it or what not the Edomites the whole world is wicked right now man 
There's no way on earth they hear him. I can go and say he created peace, harmony. Um, none of that. Nothing. Everywhere he went was destruction, pollution, extinction, diseases, poverty, you name it. Everything bad in this world belongs to them. And he hates Israelites, black people, and us Australian Aborigines out of the 12 tribes of Jacob, Jacob's 12 sons. We come from the oldest, Reuben. So we're the tribe of Reuben. Out of the 12 tribes of Israel. And the Edomite. He hates us. You just seen that doco? What they're doing to the foods, and I don't want to even talk about the fucked up vaccine. I know there's more to it, man. I haven't got time for that. But do your own research. Find out what's what for yourself. If not, just go on the straight path you're going on now. Do what you do. Right. Well, that's me, and I'm out. Stay safe. Two months ago, I decided I'm going to take it and I'm going to take Moderna. I went on the website and I said, I'm not taking it in Brooklyn. I'm, I don't want, I want to go into the white people neighborhood. So I signed up online to Columbia and I put some white. The spirit prompt me said, put on white because I'm already scared. And when I put some white, so when I went in, to, to do that and I sat down the lady that was going to give me the vaccine and she had the computer to make sure I have the right timing and I was registered to take the vaccine she said you're not white she said I can't give you this and every hair in my body started to stand up I didn't want to even I said I knew it said we wasn't getting the, the same vaccine as white people I said, I just gotta go do 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 with my gun go back to the